Welcome back, Ink Chasers, to another TTM video. Um, this was some that I had gotten over the weekend. Just been really busy trying to play catch up still, and uh, just not getting around to getting to these. So I will go ahead and show you these. I have first off coming back four of four in eighteen days. Mr. Rich Gedman here on a 1982 tops signed in blue of course with the fake autograph pre-printed on the on the card it's kinda hard to see them next on the 87 tops got a 1990 score And a 1986 tops. It's kind of hard to see, but it does look better in person. Um, next up are we got two different ones for for Daniel. The first one here is from the uh, director of Johnson Space Center, coming back one of one in 35 days. Ellen. Ocha, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, he had gotten hers back once before on her picture. She does sign one of, only at a time. So we sent back his logo to get get that one completed for his, uh, his collection. The next one we got was uh, coming back two of two in 77 days. And he did not return questionnaires. And that is astronaut... Thomas Ackers, signed really small up in the corner there, and then also signed his logo card. So that is all I have as far as TTMs go. One thing, um, as I mentioned before, I'm on Star Tiger, and whenever I was putting in my returns for these two, or these for Rich Gedman, I noticed that someone else had a return back 16 of 17 so they sent 17 cards to be signed now in my opinion that is ridiculous <laughs> um, I know I, I try to stay around four try not to go over occasionally I might go over or suggest to them hey if you want to keep some of the cards keep them um, but I think I don't think I've ever sent over more than five unless it's something that I am paying for. Like if I'm giving them money for it, then, you know, I don't see why I not send as many as I want. I know there's a few people out there that, you know, think two is the limit, but I try and keep an eye and, and watch how many people sign, but definitely I believe 17 is way too much. Let me know down below what you guys think. Um, I am still working on trying to figure out, I spent most of the last week or two figuring out the, the new editing program that I was talking about. Finally got my video completed, went to go, um, you know, save it or whatever, and then they want me to buy the program. So after spending about two weeks learning how to use it, getting it just the way I wanted it, now they want me to buy it so I'm not gonna do that because they want like $99 to do that so I uh, either will look for another program or just reshoot the video and give you like my recaps and stuff without the special editing <laughs> I am gonna be looking for another editing tool just because I do want to give you know different program type you know different material and have it different ways but um, I, I don't want to pay an arm and a leg for it, or at least not right now. <laughs> Alright, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think down below. Appreciate it, and thanks for watching.